Alright, come on out. It's Brian first. There he is. The year was 2009. Dad jeans and sweaters were my sailing attire of choice as I cruised the frigid waters of the Pacific Northwest. After quitting my job and selling everything I owned, I sailed over 2,500 miles from Seattle, Washington to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, where I celebrated my first Christmas on board Delos and welcomed my little brother Brady out for a short visit that would end up lasting about a decade. Now, almost 13 years and over 70,000 miles under the keel later, after circumnavigating the entire world by sail, welcoming a gorgeous daughter into the world, and visiting 46 countries and six continents, Delos and her salty crew were arriving into the very same marina where I had departed from to cross the Pacific Ocean all those years ago. Delos route planning video take 75. Hello everybody, welcome to the tour of our map and where we're going to be going over the course of the next 30 days or so. Delos looked a little different this time, and so did I. But the feeling of excitement as we entered was all the same, since this time we would be inviting friends, family, and patrons from all around the world to celebrate my recent milestone of completing my circumnavigation. But it would be a bittersweet time for us as well, as we get a reminder of one of the hardest parts about a sailor's life when the time comes to say goodbye. So it's a well-known fact that boats are hard on gear, and knives are certainly no exception. But we have some on board that have held up to the test of time, which is why we're so stoked for today's video to be sponsored by Kamakoto Knives. In fact, we've had Kamakoto Knives on board for over a year now, and they've made easy work of everything we've thrown their way. I've sliced through tuna-like butter, which requires the sharpest of edges, chopped lobster in half like nothing, and even crushed nuts for nugget smoothies. Kamakoto knives are made using high quality Japanese steel and techniques that go back over 800 years. Plus the single beveled edge means that you can maintain the sharpest of edges. So Kamakoto knives come in a heavy duty ash wooden box, which makes them the absolute perfect gift for the holiday season coming up. Each knife is individually inspected. They're used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. And most importantly, they come with a lifetime guarantee. So you really can't go wrong. So just head on over to kamikoto.com forward slash Delos. Right now, Kamikoto Knives are running a massive sale and also especially for the Delos tribe, you can get an additional 50 bucks off any purchase by entering the coupon code Delos. Uh, link is below and in the description, kamikoto.com forward slash Delos. Grab yourself a sweet set of knives or for a friend, it makes a great gift and you'll also be supporting our project at the same time. Thanks very much for watching. Back to the show. Look at this boogie border. So this is Paradise Village, and we are staying in Paradise Village Marina. And the cool thing about this place is if you come here on a sailboat during the summer, it only costs 45 cents per foot. And Delos is 53 feet long, and so what is that? It's like 20 something bucks per day. And if you stay here, you get access to the entire resort. Pretty good place to be. Yeah, and we're gonna drink some Irina. Yeah. I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with marinas. For us, a stop in a marina is a luxury after months on end of sailing and anchoring out in remote areas. We get to run the air conditioning, take long hot showers, walk straight off the boat into a bar for a cold beer, and all the many simple pleasures of land life that you didn't even realize that you missed. 
but after a few days of feeling pampered, you're chomping at the bit to get back out in the wild and explore. Thanks to a highly active Pacific hurricane season and a rolly exposed coastline, we've been spending way too much time cooped up in the slip, and to be honest, we are feeling a bit over it. But out of any marina I've stayed in my entire trip around the world, I gotta say that this stop was pretty fun. We are basically staying at an all-inclusive beachfront resort for less per person than the price of a margarita. And in proper cruiser fashion, we got every penny's worth of fun out of this place. Ah, look at this! Whoa! I'm gonna go down the slide, Nugs. My goal is to go down the slide every day that we're here. Think it's achievable? I think so. Alligator water slide wasn't the only reason we were posted up here in Puerto Vallarta. It's also one of the most accessible spots on the Pacific coast of Mexico for visitors to arrive. So we decided that it would be the perfect spot to host a proper shindig to celebrate my recent milestone of sailing around the world. The guest list would be full of friends, family, and of course our patrons who have supported the production of these videos and made this entire journey possible. long trip right yeah like 24 hours yeah. it's oh. been a long day but i'm fit for it now i'm happy when i'm here with you mm, yeah Mormon's gonna sleep up here yeah right there oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Everybody knows your name. I know. I have to tell you some of the things. All right. You guys made it. All right. Welcome to, to the circumnavigation party. What are you guys thinking so far? Uh, this is uh, this is fabulous. Now, where'd you guys come from? Coming from Colorado. Colorado. Landlocked Colorado. <laughs> Woo! Got it. Aloha. <laughs> Is that your first time on Delos? It is. What was your guys' thoughts? What was first impressions? <laughs> yeah, it's a little uh, surreal. Blown away, really. <laughs> Do you feel like you knew every inch of the boat before you got on it, though? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're excited to have you guys here for this uh, wonderful event. So. Thank you. It's pretty exciting to be here, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it looks bigger or smaller in looks, real person or camera? I think it looks smaller. I think it looks smaller. It looks smaller. I think it looks smaller because it looks so much larger in TV. What oh, are you guys up to? Yeah, I just don't Hi. Hi. Time Welcome aboard. Together. You get filmed. <laughs> yeah. Putting all these flags together is awesome. Yeah, these are all the courtesy flags from every country visited on the trip. Some of these have seen better days. That's Vanuatu. That's part of the huh? fun. <laughs> so we're just walking up to the yacht club now and the party's gonna start. It was really fun to have everybody on Dallas and just like chat with people and now we're gonna I think it's gonna be some food and some really fun stuff, so it's awesome. Yay. Hi! <laughs> Good, how are you guys? The Yacht Club was a great place to host the party, and it felt a bit like fate since the Commodore here is actually our old buddy Eric. We crossed the Pacific at the same time many, many moons ago, and when we all made it to New Zealand, he asked us to keep our eye on his boat in the marina which ended up leading to me meeting Karen for the very first time. 
After saying some thank yous in a few words, I was surprised with an amazing gift of video messages from friends, family, and former crew who couldn't make it to the party, but wanted to be here with us in spirit. Hey! Hello! Look who it is! Who's that, Shark? Hey! Hey! hey. Congratulations! We just want to send you a very big congratulations! congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian, from Auckland, New Zealand, where it all started for you and Karen. And we just wanted to congratulate you on your circumnavigation. That is a big feat. Hey, Brian, congrats on sailing around the world. Dear Brian, Captain Brian, the captain of SV Delos. I can't believe it. It's finally done, and you have done it. You have finished your circumnavigation, and I'm proud beyond words. Congratulations, Captain Brian. We are so proud of you for sailing around the world. Super proud of you guys. Missing Dallas, missing you guys. Congratulations on this incredible milestone. And Brian, 13 years of sailing. The fact that it took 13 years is really the thing to celebrate because I think that's testament to the kind of guy that you are, Brian. I truly believe that, you know, this was never a, an accolade that you, you set out to achieve, but rather all the sort of milestones, the memories, um, the life experiences and, and the people that you met along the way, like that's the thing um, to celebrate. And I'm here with Alpha, she's only like, uh, she's a mom today actually. And this is, and this is Tora, what do you want to say? I'm gutted we're not going to be able to be there, but uh, I think we're working on similar projects at the moment that take a lot of time. Enjoy your celebration and uh, I wish you a really, really, really cool party and drink, but drink not too much. I uh, hope everyone is nice and boozed up and I uh, hope the beers are going down well. I really hope you're taking the time to celebrate with a lot of love and a lot of good drinks. Thanks for uh, bringing us with you on your journey. You guys are the best. I have a surprise for you. I bought a boat. I hope I hope one day I can sail close to y'all and share this wonderful experience called life. We'll see you all on that horizon soon, somewhere. You guys are really inspirational and I can't wait to catch up again in the Sea of Cortez. I really hope to sail with you guys in Mexico. It would really make a very complete heart of mine. Love you. We miss you, we love you. Happy trails, safe sail. Love you. Love to the Delos tribe. Love you guys. Love you guys. I love you and we'll be chasing you around the globe. I love you and I miss you. Yours, Sleaser. Health and happiness and blessed sales to you and to SV Delos crew in the past and in the future. Love you very, very much. From Israel. Falafel. The party was such a blast, and I was so grateful to everyone that traveled from near and far to come celebrate with me. We got to mingle, share laughs, and put a face to the name of so many of the patrons that we've messaged with and shared in each other's inspiration over the years. We filled our bellies with tacos and margaritas, our hearts with warmth and joy, and Sierra's pockets with lots and lots of candy. And go! <laughs> All right, Paul, what do you got right here? Tell me, oh, tell me about- We have the official Delos commemorative t-shirts. This is the ones that, this. this is the ones that the fans voted on, right? We've done a circumnavigation t-shirt contest and we put out the message that we wanted the Delos tribe to design this circumnavigation t-shirt and we've gotten some incredible designs sent in. Like They're I was, so good. I was blown away. One, one, four, one, one, four, one, one, three. So far we've counted almost 700 votes. There's 3,000 comments on Instagram. I don't even know how many on Facebook. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of counting left. Yeah, I'm going back to my business outside. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> okay. After all of the votes were tallied, 
there were two shirts that were so close and we loved both of the designs so much, we decided to pick two. Only one was ready in time for the party, but both are for sale in the shop now. So head on over to svdelos.com forward slash world tour to grab yours today and help support our project at the same time. Our resort life rolled on throughout the week and we soaked up as much as we could of quality time with family against the stunning backdrop of the Bay of Banderas. While we wouldn't trade this lifestyle for anything, since having Sierra, we've been finding it so much more difficult to spend long periods of time away from family, not knowing when we'll be reunited again. It's so important for us that she gets to know her grandparents, and seeing them together building a special bond makes me so incredibly happy. Ah, how nice is that? So nice. Come in, Nugs! Oh! <laughs> oh, what a nice day with family. It's so special to have like everybody here. <laughs> uh, Woohoo! We did it! Whoa, look at that, Cass. It's like a carnival. It's having a party, too. <laughs> it's going. Papa D is on the camera. Here we go. Look at these two. Sierra, give me one. How does Grandpa sound? <laughs> our week with family was exactly what we needed to recharge our batteries. And before we knew it, the time had already come to say goodbye. Do you want to say goodbye to more more? Hey, more. Okay. It's time. Yeah. Again, I for know. the sixth time, it's time <laughs> to go. Yeah. Craziness. Yeah, I know. It's it was been a good so visit. lovely. Sierra. Oh, sweetest kiss ever. Thank you so much for coming. So nice. We'll see you soon, okay? You travel safe. We love you and we miss you. And thank you for all the help and everything. See you soon. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, more, more. We love you. It's a good visit, wasn't it? Yeah. It was such a good visit. It felt so sad, though. I know. It's never like yet this year. If you hadn't noticed, there was someone missing from all the festivities. Jordan had COVID and was quarantined off the boat for most of our time in Puerto Vallarta. Fully recovered and no longer contagious, she was back on board, but unfortunately wouldn't be for long. You're crazy. Crazy. Crazy chicken. Jordan. <laughs> I'm pretty much packed. And now I'm just taking down all my little pictures that I hung up in the room. Aww. It's crazy to sit here. I'm gonna... I, I want an idea of what I wanted to film. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to film, like, if you can think about, like, your highest high of the trip. Okay. And your lowest low. That's extremely hard to decide on the highest high because there are so many, but I would have to say like, to be there for finishing Brian's circumnavigation was like very, very special and cool. And it was so nice because in the morning we had a little mishap with the flags and like Bill came over with the flags and then Brooke and Gary were like in the dinghy flying the drone and then we pulled in and there was like random people like honking horns and I don't know, I was like crying. It was really I cool. Know. It, it was, was very really emotional. Um, and then lowest low, didn't film any of it. I went on a little surf vacation while Brian and Kaza went home to visit their family. And I got COVID and I was like alone and had no air conditioning and like was so ill that I couldn't go out of bed and like even get food or anything. So I was like alone in a non-air conditioned room for like three days with no food. That's, That's pretty rough. scary too. That was intense, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, can you throw some stats our way? Like, so you joined... Okay, so I came on the boat four months ago. We sailed like 2,000 miles from Panama City to Puerto Vallarta. How many countries? Panama, Costa Rica, 
in Mexico. Mexico, three countries. Played a lot of Yahtzee. How Yachty many games of Yahtzee? How many <laughs> hairballs? No, it was amazing. It was like, yeah, I think some of the, some of the happiest months I've had in a very long time. Oh, gonna miss. Oh, oh no! Here we go. I have to go oh. for the hug. Oh. Today didn't just mark the end of our 2,000 mile journey together, but also a huge milestone in my life that I didn't know would ever be possible. Most of you watching might not know my story. I've been a part of the Delos Project behind the scenes for the last couple of years, helping to bring your weekly dose of sailing and adventure to the screen. Before returning to the boat as crew this year, I was living a simple and beautiful life in Sri Lanka surfing every day, editing Delos videos, and recovering emotionally from a sailing accident when a boat I was crewing on sank in the wild Indian Ocean off the coast of Western Australia. I didn't think I could or would ever sail again. I suffered from flashbacks and crippling fear at the thought of getting back out on the water. But when Brian and Kaza invited me to come out for this leg of the trip, I knew there was no better opportunity to face my fears with people and a boat that I have absolute trust and faith in, and I knew I had to say yes. Besides all the mind-blowing experiences we shared together, I can never thank you enough for supporting me in this journey of healing, for opening your home and hearts to me, and for helping me to find my spark in life and in sailing again. I love the three of you like family, and I feel so incredibly blessed and proud to be a part of this amazing project that inspires millions of people around the world. So as hard as it is to part ways this time, I can say with absolute certainty that this isn't a goodbye, and that the future holds many more miles and adventures for us together. Up next on Delos. We leave Puerto Vallarta and set sail for the Sea of Cortez. We brave some incredibly vicious squalls. I feel like we were sailing into an apocalypse or something. <laughs> and make landfall in a completely new and incredibly alien landscape. Whoa! Oh! Hi, Brian! Mother-in-law here. I love you. Here it comes. There was a man that went to sea, and the name of the man was Brian, you see. The winds blew up on Delos bow, but the crew they sailed along. Huh. Soon the years had come and gone, the Delos crew were out of rum. Twelve years has passed along, we're here to say well done. You have sailed around the world and made a film of every turn. Time to make a second loop and please tug us along. Huh. Soon the years have come and gone, the Delos crew were out of rum. Twelve years has passed along, we're here to say well done. Ha <laughs> ha